Hello, I'm Paul from Elementary Technology and welcome to our Customer Experience and Training Centre. What we're going to look at today is a range of solutions for high schools. We're asked all the time by uh, high school and higher education customers for help replacing their aged front of class technology. This area of education has often been um, misfunded or that schools have had to make do and mend, they've got a mismatch of equipment and they're really stuck with what to do with mixture of projectors, some interactive whiteboards, maybe some dry boards. So what we're going to do today is give you a quick walk through the three best options we believe you should be considering for these much needed upgrades. For most high schools, we would normally see this as being the entry level system that schools would go for, so the minimum sort of quality you would want to um, not have a detrimental impact on teaching and learning. So what we've got here is an ultra short throw projector uh, fitted on the wall above me, a large dry board, projection surface, so I can project without the light bouncing off, but I can also use a dry, um, a dry white marker, and also often, um, in your classrooms you'd have a big speaker above as well, a couple of speakers in each corner of the dry board. So a common sight in most uh, secondary schools today. This obviously is, is a common thing, so therefore often when you're replacing schools look to replace for the same sort of equipment, which is fine. The product, as you can see, this is brand new, so the projector's brand new, so it's at its best brightness. The dry board is brand new, so again, at its most clean. Um, the nature of projection is over time, it will diminish, so the image is gonna get um, steadily worse, and you will over time also need to replace lamps. The lifespan is a lot less than other new technologies that are coming closer in price, which we'll look to later on as part of the comparison. Um, again, advantages are when it's new, it's a good, it's a good solution, it's well tried and trusted, it takes up more physical space, the projector is big and above my head. As you saw then as I lent up, it can still actually hit me in the eyes. And also as I'm in front of it, if I'm trying to point something out, then it can cause shadow. Also what happens over time is we're looking at something here. We're, we've been studying Vindolanda as part of our uh, look at Rome and Hadrian's Wall. Um, Teachers often then start using the dry board for writing on, or you might just write stuff up anyway, you might just write notes to the class or a date, and over time, despite this being brand new, is even by me rubbing out, it already starts to diminish the image even when that's on a brand new board, and that's a common thing that our teachers um, feedback a lot very often. To kind of look at the comparison, that's a white document base. So we're going to look at some comparisons as we go through. And then there's an image. Again, you can see by just writing three words and not rubbing out um, fully, it's actually having a detrimental impact on the image. Um, one thing we'd always recommend for high schools, um, again, we haven't got any interactivity at this point, but it's often really beneficial to keep uh, a visualizer in your classroom. So I'm going to quickly flick over to a visualizer. So again here, uh, this is just a document we've created A to Z of, of, of elementary technologies services. But again, this gives you some interactivity to look at good work, to do live marking. We were talking about Vindolanda earlier. I could maybe bring um, an artifact from there and show it underneath. So that gives this sort of system um, some inter interactivity. So the next option we're going to consider is a non-interactive display. Now this is an area where schools aren't quite sure, so this is a professional grade 75 inch screen, which means that it has a valid education warranty. Most of the suppliers we would recommend come with a five years warranty, so actually are covered for longer than your older projection type system. So as you can see, the image quality is higher, it's a higher aspect ratio, it's often brighter, it's clearer and easier to see. So if we use our Vindolanda example again, we can see Vindolanda, you can make a comparison which will show us side by side as part of this review. Often with these type of screens, rather than have bulky speakers above in the corners, we introduce a sound bar, which again minimizes it, is a bit more modern. So again, we'll quickly review. I would always want to have a visualizer in this sort of system, so let's quickly review again, so you can compare the images versus the previous unit. Now, one advantage, further advantage that this uh, more modern display setup holds is it has an inbuilt Android element to it. So what this means is you can see here, I've got a, um, a mouse and keyboard, which means that I can actually um, browse uh, via the screen itself. So this is a bit more like people have um, 
in their home. So you can see here, here's a menu built into the screen. Um, and I'm just gonna say, I didn't have my laptop connected or a computer and I wanted to go and look at things to bring up the Vindolanda um, page again. I can just browse, go straight to that browser um, and then have a look and browse that way. What I can also do is these type of screens have built into them some wireless casting options. So I'm gonna use my iPhone as an example, but you can use your PC, uh, an Android device, such as a, 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 you know, an Android tablet or a phone. I can actually quickly and easily also cast to my device. Uh, so just wait for it to connect. It'll give me a code, just so obviously your students can't connect um, and say something inappropriate. Um, so, I'm gonna wait for it to connect now. So fantastic, as easy as that, I'm now connected via a mobile device. So that, that gives it another um, dimension when we're building on top of the more classic projection system that we've used historically. So the next option in this comparison series we're gonna have a look at is using an interactive uh, display screen. So again, with high schools often, money is a consideration and it's felt, we often get the feedback that most of the, a lot of the teaching departments and team don't use interactivity of their existing equipment. That's often because the interactivity's failed, it's old, it's out of date, and we believe with training, it's still a really good option, although the most expensive in the three we've looked at, it offers much more functionality and is um, the latest system, if you like. So, to give an example, if we work in the same way as we have in the comparison, so I'm looking at the same page uh, that we're looking at in regards to Vindolanda, the Roman fort, but what I've got the option now to do is pick up a pen, um, I can highlight, I can write notes, um, so we, here we could just discuss about the foundation, etc. Because this is electronic, I can save it, I can send it to users, I can you know, put it to cloud accounts, that sort of thing. So it gives me the ability to save. The same applies also if I go, um, if I look back at our visualizer, which we've been using throughout. So again, I now have the ability to annotate um, within here. So if I wanna make some electronic annotations, you know, like here I'm highlighting, um, our accreditation stuff when we're up for a better award last year for the work we've done in schools. Um, again, the modern interactive touch screens, you can see I can, they're very, very robust. So again, the most robust of the set that we've looked at, and they will all have some inbuilt functionality. So on the previous one, we looked at a non-interactive screen, we could web browse, we could share from mobile devices. Touch screens give you another level up from that. So in this example, I could, access uh, pre-lessons that I've saved in, in my cloud accounts, for example, and bring them down. So again, means you don't have to carry a laptop around. I can instantly whiteboard. So this is another example. So I can instantly whiteboard. I can, again, uh, write up quick notes, make indications. I can rub those out. Um, use this as an infinite whiteboard. So a bit like your old um, roller dry boards. Again, really nice and easy to use. I can also often, with different makes of, of whiteboards, search and, and enter things um, into the lesson. So if we still keep on our Vindolanda theme we've uh, used throughout, this is independent, just working on the screen. I can search for information about Vindolanda. There's an image that I want to use. That puts it straight onto my screen uh, that I can manipulate. We can look in more detail in a high quality image. Again, no noise, we'd recommend um, you know, using this type of technology where budget allows. As another addition to the visualizer and the display device we've used, I'm now wearing a pendant microphone, which is reinforced by this speaker. So previously we looked at speakers above um, a dry board and ultra short, short throw projector setup. We've used a sound bar with screens, which is an option for both sets of screens but a sound reinforcement system would be recommended as for teachers, all the students can hear you even when you turn and you're facing, the, uh, you know, facing what you're looking at. It keeps the ambience of the room down and it's just a really good addition in these sort of systems to be considered and worth looking at um, as part of the, your process. So as part of our comparison, we're gonna place 
uh, a screen next to a projected image with the same image on there so you can get an idea of the different image quality you get via a projection um, a projector and a, a non-interactive and interactive screen to give you an idea and in summary we're just going to quickly go back over the three options that we've looked at so the first was a well-known ultra short throw projector and specialist projection dry board again something we all know with some speakers above um, still the right solution for many so one to be considered I'd say it's a guide price uh, installed professionally installed with cabling a new dry board and everything you'd probably be looking around 1450 pounds the second option we saw was a non-interactive screen again in our demonstration that was on a trolley but you would have that installed potentially on a wall uh, in the same way as the projector now that option probably slightly more expensive by about £100 or there or thereabouts to so say about £1,550 so a bit of a longer, well, a longer lifespan, improved image and some wireless connectivity um, which may uh, be worth considering and then final again we've got an interactive touchscreen this is really the ultimate as it has much more tools much more functionality and is actually the most robust if you remember you can actually punch that screen as I demonstrated again we often hear we don't want to look at that because the teachers can't use it. Again, I think it's worth reviewing um, as with the right training and some input from the tra uh, often from the teaching team, this is still the one to go for. And as a price uh, guide, as we've done with the others, you could probably, an entry level 75 inch system would probably cost you £2,100, again, going higher up depending on brand, etc. So not a massive uh, gap or not as much as you might have thought. Again, all three options, we would always recommend you look at a visualizer. Visualizers, we think low technology, high impact, are crucial for teaching um, in this day and age. And also consider your audio. Audio visual often has a massive V for visual and a very small A. What do you want to compare? How much of learning do you take from audio? Um, all these things we can really help you with, so speak to us, we would advise, always come to us first as, as the country specialist in this field, we'll give you proper advice, independent advice, and we can provide demonstrations at your school or um, uh, your setting, or we can do it remotely, live or a pre-arranged um, video, so you can really get an understanding of what would work best for you.